Well, here's what I want to talk about tonight. The breaker mantle. Receiving an anointing or a breaker mantle. Why do we need that? We need a breaker mantle so that what has resisted us and stood and, and, and withstood us from moving into those next places. How many of you have places you've been trying to get into, but you've not been able to do it? You've not, you've not seen the ability or the doors or, or, or whatever it was, the provision, whatever it was, to be able to get into those new realms. Listen, I believe that God wants to impart a mantle, the mantle of a breaker. The mantle of a breaker upon our lives, and I'm, I'm going to try not to be long, but just because we just want to get to this, that there will be an ability to move into the next places that God has ordained for us. Because watch, the Bible says this, that of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. The nature of the kingdom is it's always increasing. Well, guess what? It can only increase through us. In other words, God doesn't just do sovereign things necessarily out of heaven. What God does is he anoints us, empowers us, and then through us, there is an expansion of the kingdom rule of God into the earth. I mean, when you read the Bible, you need to understand something. When you read the Bible, we are not living in hopeless situations. Listen, God has come to establish the rule of his kingdom in the earth. As far as I'm concerned, Satan is not going to take over the whole world. The kingdom of God is going to be made manifest. I believe God is undoing the church from a pessimistic eschatology and moving us into a victorious eschatology that dares to believe that God is bigger than the devil. And are there challenges? Absolutely. Are there issues? Absolutely. But you need to understand something. That God said of the increase of his government, his kingdom, and of peace, there will be no end. It is, it is constantly enlarging and being increased. So we want to talk about a breaker anointing, a breaker mantle that will let us be a part of the increase of that kingdom. Okay, so let me just show you this. Micah chapter 2, verse 13. Micah 2, 13. The one who breaks open will come up before them. Everybody say, that's the Lord. So it's talking about the Lord. The one who breaks open will come up before them. And watch what will happen. They will break out. Pass through the gate. Go out by it. Their king will pass before them with the Lord at their head. So the Bible says that God as the breaker is going to come up before them. In other words, he's going to go before us. And literally, as he goes before us, he is going to move. Things. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. He is going to begin to, to, to rout the enemy. The enemy will flee. He comes up before us, and he goes out before us. He's the breaker. The enemy will flee. And as he, he, watch this, as he does this, it says, then we will break out. In other words, limits will be taken off. Restrictions will be removed. See, most of God's people live in a frustrated place. Because they want to move into another dimension, another realm of function and activity. The problem is, we feel these restrictions binding us. Let me show you another scripture. 1 Chronicles 14, 10 through 11. And David inquired of God, saying, Shall I go up against the Philistines? Isn't it, watch, isn't it always wise to ask God if we should go against the enemy? We don't want to be full of presumption. We will always want to realize that, that God has called us to be conquerors. But watch this. We realize that our strength and our power is from him. So he said, God, David, God, God asked David, shall I go up against him? He said, will you deliver them into my hand? The Lord said to him, go up, for I will deliver them into your hand. So they went up to Baal Perazim, and David defeated them there. Now watch. He's, the Bible's going to give us some insight. Then David said, God has broken through my enemies by my hand like a breakthrough of water. Therefore, they call the name of that place Baal Perazim. How does water break through? Through an eroding effect. 
See, David said, I've had a breakthrough against the enemy. But it was like the breakthrough of water. If you want to see the eroding effect, just look at the Grand Canyon. It was the eroding effect of water, of rivers, that literally carved what we now know as the Grand Canyon. Because it was this eroding effect, which is, watch, a slow but sure methodical of washing away the resistance. See, here's one of our problems. Some of us, we want instantaneous things to happen when God says, I just need you to be faithful. And if you'll keep being faithful and keep being faithful and keep being faithful, whether you know it or not, there is an eroding effect. And sooner or later, things will be carved out and everything will crater that's standing against you. But that comes from releasing the anointing of the breaker that's on your life. That's the anointing of the breaker. The the mantle of the breaker releases this eroding effect. So the breaker mantle causes us to break out. Many people feel diminished. They feel restricted. They feel limited. But the breaker mantle allows us to expand, watch this, And be enlarged in our influence and in success. See, that's why why God wants to enlarge us. That's why he wants the limitations to come off. Why? Because he wants to give you new realms of influence. Because you can only increase the rule of his kingdom if you have a a realm of influence. So I I need for every restrictive thing. And listen, that's what I discovered from the court of heaven. I had things restricted. I had words from God that were 20 years old. That God had said to me, this is going to happen. And, and, and this is what I've intended. Now, I discovered something. A prophetic word is two things. Number one, it is the intended purpose of God expressed. Any real prophetic word, it is the intended purpose of God expressed. Secondly, it is a prayer agenda. Because when you get a prophetic word, you've just been given a prayer agenda. Because that prophetic word will not come to pass unless you pray it into being. Some of y'all need to understand that. You've been saying, I guess that wasn't a real word from God. No, because you're a prayerless person. Because you've been called of God to pray into reality the prophetic word you've heard from God. So I take every prophetic word I have heard that I esteem to be the right word and I begin to pray and I begin to war and I begin to use the breaker anointing on my life until through an eroding effect, every resistance is removed and I can move into the destiny and purpose that God has for me.